Thanks very much. That was playful and innovative, at least in, in three areas. The first, you used an assistant. <laughs> I think it's really enriching. Second, you used the model of a car and then with visual aid. And third, you created a teaser to surround yourself with people during the break. <laughs> It actually made me think that I should really learn how to drive so that I can make more out of this metaphor. Thank you very much. The next speaker, well, to say he's, to say he's millennial, I think we would be quite close. It would not be an understatement. And what's really interesting about him is what he would do if life was just a game for him. Because he would play the game of building the biggest sand castle <laughs> in the whole world. <laughs> and what would he start doing right now is he would start recruiting people to help him build the biggest sand castle. <laughs> Project number eight, using visual aids. And the title of the speech is The Secret of Books. <laughs> Welcome, Wojtek Posty. A book is like a man, interesting, inspiring, nice, beautiful, old, <laughs> new, portless, heavy, hard, tough, provocative. What you are talking about your friends to other people? How would you describe them, how they are? They are nice or not so nice? <coughs> and what about your friends are talking about you to other people? What you are? Are you interesting, nice? Or you have another character. I brought here a few friends and they will talk how am I am actually. The very old friend from my childhood and he really liked me because he offered me many pictures and brought me whenever I want. I have been interesting, interested it, it expansions of nat nations to other new countries and continents. If I looked at this book, I remember a story from Cajamarca, from today's Peru. It was the capital of Inca's nations, of Inca, Inca Empire. And Atahama was the governor of this empire. But came an evil Spanish invaders and they completely destroyed the order of the Incas Empire. They had no mercy, even they were Christian. That brought me to other friends. This is my very first book, what I read as a text. One friend wanted to convince me how Christian missionary, how Christian mission is so interesting. I read about Todd Brook, how he went to Cambodia 
and he talked to people about Christianity and he helped many people, healed many people, drive, drove out many demons. But I know this is strange, but this book tells other story. How I behaved the book. I, how I was uh, as the evil Spanish in the, in, in the Incas and he, how they conquered the Catamarca. And as they destroyed completely the Incas. I completely destroyed this book. <laughs> completely. <laughs> and now nobody can establish again the order <laughs> of the Nobody would make this book in a numeric order. This is how I behave the book. In Peru, they treasure a lot of gold. And I treasure the book as a gold for me. Do, don't worry, this is not the Quran written by Muhammad. I bought this book for Muhammad, for one Syrian refugees. He asked me, you have access to buy some Arabic book. Do it for me. But the months later we had to we to meet. There is no Muhammad more. And I treasure the book and I hope that the day will come. And now I learn how to behave the book. Read them and use the text. This book is about public speaking. Maybe decades old book. But I am using, I read this and I learn from it a lot how to use in my life just at the moment. My words at the end is now go to the library, bookshop and find there your new friends. Let them to speak to your own life and your own life will be changed to good at that moment and forever. Mr. Toxmaster.